herbal patches are basically herbal cakes that are applied directly on the skin uh, to produce some warming and some moving uh, function in the, uh, on the acupuncture points or on the channel. So generally, um, people can use manufactured product, manufactured uh, herbal patches, which are very convenient to use. You just stick on directly on the skin, but they are much less effective than the homemade herbal patches, which I really recommend. Uh, herbal patches are generally made uh, from warming herbs, such as kanjiang, raogui, and vessel blocking herbs, such as bai jiezi, and also fragrant um, opening herbs, such as bing pian or shi xiang. Uh, the herbs are then reduced into powder, and we use this powder, mix it with a solvent. So the solvent can be either um, alcohol or vinegar, or it can be ginger juice, even honey, and you make a paste out of that. Then we use some um, herbal patches or some medical gauze to apply it on the skin. Um, so today we're going to demonstrate how to make the herbal patches yourself. Okay, guys, we are ready now. Uh, we are starting to grind the herbs. So today we have a very basic formula which uh, consists in four herbs. We have rou gui, bai jie zi, kanjiang, and yan hun suo. So these are very common warming and moving herbs. Uh, we have 15 grams of each, so this is a very basic formula you can use for a lot of different conditions. And now we're going to use our uh, coffee grinder. So this is a, a very simple grinder we are using today. Um, and uh, it usually if you, want, if you want ideally to have a herb grinder that is specifically used for that, it might be better, but this uh, coffee grinder, which is actually 10 Australian dollars, is actually just fine and we do a job, uh, there's no problem with it. So I'm going to grind the herbs now. So you don't want to rush, you want to make sure you will make a very thin, fine powder. Um, the thinner the, the powder is, the better will be the patch. Uh, so you do want to take your time. How is going? It's pretty good. I'll just give it another go um, for a few more seconds, but it's looking pretty much all right now. Okay, let's see how it's going. So this is pretty good, um, this powder is relatively fine and we'll just put it in our container and then um, mix it with our solvents. We are, today we are going to use alcohol, so I have my alcohol ready here. So we mix it well to form a paste. This may not be enough. I may need to put a bit more. You see, you have a little piece of. Um, I'll put it back. Looks a bit better, but it's still a bit dry, so we'll put a little bit more alcohol. Oops. Let's see how it goes. So now this is slightly too much, so I will <laughs> add a bit more 
order again. Just to make sure we have a nice, nice paste. Okay, so this is going to look really good now. Um, and I have a patch ready. So I will put it directly on my patch. If you, if you can't find, so this kind of patch is very useful. Um, if you can't find it um, online or you have trouble to buy it, you can just use medical goes. It's, um, it's, it's really fine. Um, so I'm putting the paste in the middle. You, would, you don't want to be too thick. Um, if it's too thick, it might be pretty strong and might be a bit um, damage the skin a little bit. So you want you want, don't want to be too thick. The layer of paste. All right. So now we're ready. All right. So now we're going to stick the patch on. So we're doing this on um, DB14 um, that rate this point, which is a very good point to warm up um, the body in general. So we make sure we don't stick on the um, clothes and, and just make sure you don't stick on the hair as well. Oops. And then you can remove this paper um, strip, otherwise it might be irritating. Well, good. So this can be kept for usually six to eight hours. Um, if it's starting to be very burning or very itching, it's better to remove it directly because there might be some allergic reaction. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Johan Berling, clinician, lecturer and researcher. This video was produced by Sydney Institute of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Please check our tutorials and more information on the school in the description below. You can join our community and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good practice and take care.